Jollibean. What's this? Cacho del Diablo was about 10,000 feet at the top, rising up from about sea level. So it is a massive, massive mountain. But we're here right before uh, playing out in some sedimentary rock full of shells. And not just these little, um, what are they called? Spiralinas? Uh, spiral shells. <laughs> <Prairie> <laughs> little snail, shells. Yeah. snail shells, but there's also bits of oyster all over. Yeah, here. <laughs> so we're with Bobby and Greg and our spirulina shells. And it looks like we've kind of got a couple different things going on. We've got shells where it's um, a cast. So it's basically an infill of sand inside the shell, like in these three, four here. Yeah. Um, <laughs> versus uh, the actual shell, which doesn't look like it's preserved at all. It's just straight up oyster shell and clam shell and mysterious mollusk shell. So the question is, what sort of environment was this? How old is this? And what sort of rock is this? This is a flower pot rock. <laughs> You're correct. Your periwinkles in it. <laughs> there we go. Do they grow? Yeah. yeah, they do. I mean, here you can actually all see yeah. all of it in situ. Do you say in situ or in situ? In situ. In situ. I swap back and forth. <laughs> I can't decide. Look at that little oyster. All these different shells. This is more like shell hash. What's that name for That's carbonaceous? Right, not carbonaceous, uh, calciferous. Ooh. Calcareous. Ooh, that one is cool. Look at that one. Oh. What do you think oh, it is, Greg? A, I think this is proof of the big flood knows art. <laughs> <laughs> I think, is that you giving it an age of 6,000 years? <laughs> is that how old that's supposed to be? I think so. I don't know. No, that's when. Wait. Yeah, no, that is. Yeah, 6,000 yeah. years. Uh. I'm going to go ahead and say no. I don't think that this is evidence of a flood. <laughs> it is, however, evidence that the ocean uh, once infilled this space. Which is not that surprising if it's a normal faulted basin. Yeah. The ocean's going to come in, it's going to come out. We are not very far from the Sea of Cortez. Yeah. We have our, well, arguing whether we have our coquina deposit. I mean, coquina. nobody's arguing now. No. <laughs> I just pissed that you remembered the word first. Uh, but in here we can see uh, our environment, the amount of energy in there changes periodically, which you're in a beach. So you get low tides, high tides, and in between you might have some um, earthquakes, some things being dropped. Somehow, though, we end up getting this um, conglomerate deposit right over here. So we start having all this much coarser, rounded material in there. Back there we were arguing, it was a lot of, we were in siltstone, a little bit of sandier stuff, and then we come up here, and now we're in these big, coarse conglomerate layers. But we yeah. still have a crap ton of oysters in here, and other stuff. And actually, where it was, right in there with the conglomerate deposit. So we're looking at literally like a beach, a rocky beach, um, at this point. With all this tonalite material, tonalite is a plutonic rock um, that's coming off of. Coquina was just like right off the, off the beach, like not exposed to air, uh, where things are getting smashed around in the yeah. surf. I, I mean, yeah, roughly. I don't know. Low tide, it might be exposed. You're in that environment. You're in that region. You're on a beach. You're near the beach. You're not far off. You had your seashore, or, uh, all your coarse material, and then water deepened. Okay. Um, we have less energy. We mm -hmm. have less, uh, our material is much more fine. Um, so we have a, probably a deepening of sea level going mm -hmm. on, of local sea level. So sea level is changing through time. Yes. So as far as age, I'm going to guess this is about Pliocene age, so about five-ish million years old. Logan, how old do you think it is? I'm speculating between 1.2 million <laughs> and 5 million. Okay, well, we're going to go with Logan thinks it's Pleistocene. <laughs> Hola. Hola. We're back. Um, okay. So they were casts. Uh, not. Uh, this, yeah. This is not going to work. Okay. Let's see. Um, so they were casts. So basically it's where. <laughs> Logan, we just said it's not going to work. Back out. Back out. 
Oh, you're going to make people sick. Sorry. Um, basically, it is where, uh, I think I said sand, but it looks honestly more limestone-y to me. Diatomaceous. Well, let's pour acid on it and find <laughs> out, shall we? All right, we have a modern one and then the three fossils. Go. Hydrochloric acid, modern fossil. Yes. Fizzy. So fizzy. Ooh. No, fizz. Fizz little snails. Ooh. <laughs> Ooh. Oh, yeah. Ooh. <laughs> Diatoms in my butt. Um. But we were finding, they're not spirulinas, which is something I said, not. but... Uh, yeah, guess what a spirulina is. It's I'm mad Google at myself it. for not making fun of you in the moment because I knew that was wrong. It's an algae, like a, like a thing that people grow uh, and then make into weird health food products. Good for you. Yeah, but it's Maybe. not a snail. <laughs> so, no, instead we're finding, uh, what are they, tor tortellinis? Right? No. Tor Tortellas. Tortellas. <laughs> These are like modern. Oh, well, crap. Tor tortellas? Tortellas. We just knew this. Let's Google You better. kept saying tortellini too many times. <laughs> I know, but tortellini stuck out. But Anyways, it's not spirulina. <laughs> oh. um, so one of the other things that I wanted to point out is that Logan um, forgets what? the law of superposition. <laughs> during our video and he that is very distracting um he starts saying it like oh god i don't know but he points down you had your seashore all your coarse material and then water deepened we are both fully aware that the older stuff is on the bottom and the younger stuff is above it's just that logan temporarily forgot that in the moment when he was pointing at things. i don't remember doing this. it was still correct he was just pointing at the wrong stuff <laughs> So that's it for this week. Um, if there's anything that you think we got wrong, go ahead and post it in the comments. And if you post a peer-reviewed citation that suggests you are correct, <laughs> we will send you a sticker. We will. We're going to try to start posting every that... two weeks. Logan, Sorry. get this out of my face. <laughs> indestructible frisbee. Uh, not looking sad. indestructible, yeah. Uh, do we have a catchphrase? Just show out. <laughs> <laughs>